I'm Mark Kilgore. Welcome back to another episode with the BMW M4 track build. In my previous video, I installed the JQ Works steering wheel system into the M4. So if you're interested in seeing the basic install, check out that video. For today's video, I'm going to be wiring up one of the free to use buttons to my GoPro that I have mounted on my roll bar. With the free to use button, I should be able to turn on and off the GoPro and it should start automatically recording and stop recording when I press the button. Should be pretty sick, should make things much, much easier on track. I can't tell you how many times where I have forgotten to press the record button or I'm getting ready to go out on track and I realize that the GoPro is not on. So this should be super easy because I can just hit the free to use button on the steering wheel. It'll turn it on and automatically start recording. So I'm super excited. This, may, this should make things uh, on track quite a bit simpler. So let's check out what all we need to make that happen. So this is pretty much everything we need to control my GoPro with the JQ Works steering wheel. So obviously you're going to need the JQ Works steering wheel system. Uh, and the plan is to use one of these free to use buttons to control the GoPro. The idea will be that uh, once this is connected to the car and the car is on just before I go out on track, I can press one of these free to use buttons and it will turn on the GoPro, which will then immediately start recording. So the main piece that is going to allow all this to work is this system from Wired Remote. So uh, you can order this from wired-remote.com. And what it, and uh, so I have a GoPro 7 Black and they basically make, this is a plug and play system for basically, they have it for just, just about nearly every GoPro that I know of. So uh, what it is, is it is a 3D printed uh, GoPro case and then there is a controller up here in the top and it has a lever and um, when you uh, uh, turn the controller on it will uh, operate the lever to press the um, record button on your GoPro and then when you turn it off um, or when you hit the button to turn it off it will do the same. So it comes with a, a 12 volt power source that you just have to hook up in your car. Um, so we'll have to find, uh, so we'll have a place to hook up the 12 volt power. And then normally what you're supposed to do is just simply, uh, you have this button. You're just supposed to simply mount this somewhere in your car. And when you want to turn the GoPro on and start recording, you press it and it'll activate the controller. Then when you're done recording, you just press it again, it'll activate the controller again, and it will turn it off. So it's fairly simple. And so obviously, since we already have a button here, the goal is basically just to, instead of using this button, I wanna use one of these free to use buttons. So the plan is going to be to just simply uh, cut, these, uh, cut this uh, switch off and run these wires into uh, this harness that comes with the uh, JQ Works steering wheel system. Um, and so they have the directions laid out and they show you how to um, actually run the wires into this harness. And then this harness plugs into um, one of the uh, uh, OE harnesses in the uh, steering column. And so basically you will just run wires into this harness. This harness goes into the OE steering column, which then ultimately hooks up to the uh, JQ Works steering wheel. So that's the plan on how all of this should work. JQ Works actually supplies you with uh, terminal wires. So basically you just get two of these wires. They have the colors and everything here um, to show you which connectors they need to go into. Uh, we will be using, so in this orientation here, so you've got the larger uh, holes on this side, the smaller holes on this side. The wires go into the larger holes, and when you have it here with the, uh, with the release button on the right side, the upper right corner is, um, is slot number one, and then it goes to the left one through six, and then on the bottom it goes seven to 12 from right to left. So we're gonna be using the two middle uh, slots, which should be numbers three and four. 
And so we'll insert wires, we'll insert two of these wires into those slots. We will then connect these wires to these wires. And that should be everything that we need to do, obviously, other than hooking up the 12 volt. So that is my understanding, that's the plan. We will see how that goes. Obviously I will keep, you know, if, if, if I have to change something or the wiring, we'll talk about it throughout the video. One other thing that I got was um, I wanted to find a sticker that, uh, you know, said something like camera or maybe it had a GoPro or like some sort of camera uh, illustration on it. And so I found these stickers from Sim Stickers uh, this is, these are eight millimeter stickers um, and they have one that says cam. So I'm actually going to put that cam on whichever free to use button that I end up using. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for other stickers that, or anything like that that you need on your steering wheel, um, you can look up like SIM stickers and they're either eight millimeter or 10 millimeter. So um, if you look here, these smaller free to use buttons are eight millimeters and the, uh, as, as well as the two knob adjustments. The larger ones are 10 millimeters. So the M1 set, uh, uh, the cruise control set buttons are all 10 millimeters and these other are 10, mil, 10, mil, 10 millimeters as well. So uh, if you wanted to trade those out, or if you wanted to get different stickers, you can. You can look up SIM, uh, like stickers for SIM steering wheels or actually go to simstickers.co.uk um, and they have ones that are available. So this should be everything we need and fingers crossed that this all works out. I'm not the best at wiring. It's not my favorite thing to do, but uh, with this setup, this seems like it should be fairly straightforward. And we've got, we've got two wires here to this uh, button. Uh, we've got two wires here to this switch. We've got two wires that go into this harness. We should just be able to swap these out and everything should work fairly simply. We'll see if that's the case. Hey guys, Future Mark here. I wanted to provide some additional information that I have figured out now that I've had some time to mess around with this setup. So the first thing is that when using the quick capture settings, which means that I can use the uh, steering wheel button to turn on the GoPro and then immediately start recording, there is one issue, which is the quick capture setting will not allow you to use a non-powered uh, external microphone. So normally when I use my GoPro, I have an external microphone because I like to run it to the trunk of the car. It reduces wind noise and you get a lot better exhaust note from the rear. With the GoPro uh, setup on the roll bar, you get a lot of wind noise. The sound quality is terrible. So that's why I like using an external microphone. However, what I've figured out is that with the quick capture, you cannot use a non-powered external microphone. It won't recognize it when you go to turn the, uh, when I go to press the, the button on the JQ Work steering wheel and it turns the GoPro on uh, and it starts recording, but it won't allow me to use an external microphone unless it is a powered microphone. So keep that in mind. There's really no workaround to that with a non-powered microphone. It just, for whatever reason, it won't work. So you kind of have two options. One is if you want to use an external microphone with the setup that I am using, then it has to be powered using quick capture or the other option is you just have to turn the micro uh, you just have to turn the GoPro on manually then you can use a non-powered microphone and you can still use the JQ works to start and stop recording but the GoPro will stay on so currently I just turn the GoPro on manually and then when I'm ready to start recording I can use the camera button on the JQ works steering wheel to start recording and then use it to stop recording. And then I just have to manually turn the GoPro off again. Um, that is still getting most of the benefits that I was looking for, which is one, the major thing of not having to record a whole bunch of excess footage that I don't need. The other thing was that I also wanted to limit battery drainage, which that is also doing, yes, I still have to turn the GoPro on manually, but it's just basically in standby mode. It's not recording anything, so I'm not losing a whole lot of battery power. So it still works. Um, I have not tried a powered microphone, although I probably will do that here in the future. See how that, uh, see how that works. Although the only issue with that is now you're adding another powered component, which you have to think about battery life. You have to remember to turn it on and off 
So that is one thing to plan for when you're trying to set all this up. Do you want to use a powered microphone or not? Do you even have an external microphone? If you don't have an external microphone, then you know it's not a big deal. But I just want to make everyone aware of that when um, they are planning their setups. So I've got the camera mounted up on the roll bar. And as you can see, my plan is to run the wires down on the back side and they will run along the down, uh, the diagonal brace in the middle of the roll bar. So you guys can kind of see that I'll run them down here and then run them across underneath the carpet so everything kind of stays hidden and is clean. So I'll run those up um, to the back side of the center console and the plan here will be they'll be underneath the carpet. I'll probably make a little slit right here in the carpet and then the uh, wires that are going to go to the steering wheel, I'm just going to simply um, tuck them up under the driver's side and be able to run those, uh, dr the driver's side of the center console and be able to run those up through and then they should uh, be able to kind of fit them up under here and then ultimately connect uh, here on uh, this part of the steering column. Uh, we'll take this piece off, but that should keep everything hidden uh, uh, on the side of the center console. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the 12 volt wires. Again, they'll come up, but they will come on the passenger side and I will then just run them again along the line uh, along the line of the center console. I will connect those. Let's see if I can. I will then connect those to that uh, 12 volt outlet there. So there's a 12 volt outlet uh, that I should be able to tap into. So that will be my 12 volt source. Again, everything will be um, nice and uh, hidden away is I can just tuck it up underneath the center console here um, and that'll keep everything looking nice and clean. Uh, this piece comes off very easily. There's just two uh, 10 millimeter bolts. There's one there and then there's one on the other side there. So you just take those off and then um, this whole piece can just kind of drop down and we'll have clear access to the 12 volt power source. So that is going to be the plan, and I think it should work. All right, so I've got some of the wires run, um, and I have undone the uh, passenger side uh, glove box panel. So um, you can see here I've got all my wires. So this is the positive and negative uh, for the 12 volt. And over here, um, so I've got this panel down, and This is the um, this is the 12 volt source for the um, cigarette ladder or the, or the 12 volt power. So you can just pull that out. That comes out pretty easy. And we've got a uh, brown wire and then a yellow and red wire. The brown wire I checked this uh, with my multimeter. The brown wire is the ground, and the yellow and red wire is the uh, power, 12 volt power. So I guess there's a couple things you could do. If you plan on using this 12 volt outlet, um, you could just simply leave this plugged in and you could tap into each of these wires. What I'm going to do is, I don't ever use this and I don't really ever plan to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug it and then I've got um, these little uh, blades that will just slide in to each of these slots. And so then um, I will just kind of tuck this up in here um, and just leave this 12 volt outlet unplugged. Um, so that will be the plan. So I'm gonna get the, uh, let's see here. So the red is the power. So we'll put that in with the red and yellow wire. It's hard to do it one handed. There we go. And then the black is for the ground into the brown wire. There we go. 
All right. So we'll, te we'll check to see if uh, the power is working. So we'll turn the car on and then we just simply need the power button and we'll see if this comes on. There we go, I don't know if you heard it. And then you just hold it down to turn it off. Awesome, that works perfect. So now all we need to do is just cut these wires off, run them uh, up into the steering column, connect the harness, and then uh, it should continue to work the exact same way. All right, so guys, um, I have the, uh, I've hooked up the um, harness that came from JQ Works. So this is the JQ Works supplied harness. Uh, I, pr I um, also put in each of the terminal wires that they supplied uh, and I put them into the positions um, that they said. And then I've connected um, a red and a white wire and I've run those and connected those. So I snipped off, um, I snipped off the button from the uh, wired remote system. And then I've just, right now, just connected these uh, to kind of test to make sure everything's working, to make sure everything's working before I do a full, uh, more permanent connection. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get these covers off, which um, I went over in my uh, previous episode, but there are two tabs on either side back here on the top. And then once you get the top done, you can get the bottom off. So we'll, uh, you just have to lift off. It's, it's easier if you start on the driver's side and just pull out and lift up and then just work your way around. Just like that. You don't have to take it all the way off. There's, there's sort of a leatherette piece up here that you can just leave on. And then uh, for the bottom, there's two tabs on either side that you just pull outwards away from the steering column and then just press down. Like that. like that and then it will just come and hang down there's a couple of wires um, so just be careful but it can just hang there for now so if you can see here this is the JQ works uh, plug that we put on to the uh, OEM wiring harness so basically we're just simply replacing this harness with this harness so all we have to do, so this harness is normally plugged in there, but we've got this plug on. So we, what we are instead going to do is we're going to plug in the JQ Works supplied harness, just like so. So there we go. So that is in. We've got all of our connections. All right, so I have the steering wheel on and I will turn car on. So I will just simply press this free to use button on the left side and then see if the uh, GoPro camera comes on. So it works. And then you can see when I press it again, it turned it off. So this is the left free to use button. Although I will make a note that we uh, hooked up the uh, yellow and, uh, I'm sorry, we hooked up the white and red wires in positions three and four, which said that um, that should be the right free to use button, but it's not. In the instructions, it says that the three and four slots are for the right free to use buttons, but in fact, they're for the left. Not a huge deal, um, doesn't really matter to me, but uh, just make a note, three to four slots are, are right, 
uh, one to uh, or three to four slots are left. The one to the one to two slots, uh, the green and orange wires are for the right button. I have everything installed, so I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I ended up running everything. Obviously, we've got the GoPro in the wired remote case, and then we've got the wires running down. I ended up getting some wire loom cover uh, from, I don't remember if it was Advance or AutoZone, just something that they had, um, and just ran that down with some zip ties. Down the back side of the um, roll bar. So I have the wires run on the back side down to the corner where the diagonal brace and the main hoop meet. And if we look down here, you can see that I've just simply run the wires under the carpeting. The wires come out from the carpeting here behind the center console. And I just cut a little piece here in the, I just cut a little slit here in the carpet, pulled the wires up and then split the wires. So uh, the two wires run to uh, the, the driver's side for the um, button control on the steering wheel. And then I've got the power and ground wires running down the passenger side to go to the 12 volt source. So my final thoughts on everything is that ultimately this setup works amazingly. Uh, it pretty much does everything that I want it to do. Uh, it makes it so much easier to turn the GoPro on and off. And whether I use the quick capture or whether I just manually turn the GoPro on and off, uh, and use the steering wheel to start and stop recording. Either way, it makes life so much easier out on track. I don't have to deal with a lot of the excess footage of starting the GoPro, you know, driving the grid, um, and then doing out laps, in laps, all that extra footage. Um, and it also has saved a ton on battery life. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or need any additional information, Leave your comments below and I will try and get to those. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.